I want to talk about like when I started, you know, going to school and stuff, a lot of people put me down. You know what I mean? Like people tease each other. I mean, people come up and say, hey, you're fat, you're fat, you're fat, you're fat, you're fat, you're fat, you're fat. You know, you're like, lose some weight. And you're like, you go home and you look at yourself in the mirror and go, ah, I'm fat, right? And so many people tease each other. Oh, you know, you're too short, you're too tall, you look whatever. You know, different hair and all that. It doesn't matter. See, the thing is, when you're in school, when you're growing up in life, it actually sort of matters to people how you look. And then it matters to you because it matters to others. Why? Why does it matter how you look? Because if they don't like you, then who will? If they don't accept you, then who will? And the fear that we have is that we're going to be alone that we're not good enough. And, you know, we have to change ourselves. And, you know, so many people put me down and say, Nick, you look too weird and no one's really your friend and you can't do this and you can't do that. And I couldn't change anything. It's not like just fixing my hair one day and everything's fine. It's not like, you know, just whatever. I couldn't change my circumstance. I couldn't just one day wake up and say, hey, give me arms and legs. I need arms and legs. You know what I mean? Like, I went to a bodybuilder, you know, and said, can you make me some arms and legs? No, I'm joking. <laughs> bodybuilder, you get it? <laughs> right? So this is the thing. You know, I go up to people, can you give me a hand? You know, I'm just joking. Yeah. But it was so hard because people put me down. And I started believing that I was not good enough. I started believing that I was a failure. That I'd never ever be somebody who people would like or people would accept. And it was so hard, man. I thought to myself, I, you know, I can't go on, the, go on the soccer field like everybody else, and I can't ride my bike, and I can't skateboard, and all these sort of things. And I started getting depressed. I thought, what kind of purpose do I have to live? I mean, do you, are, are you just here to live to die? I mean, is there not a purpose for me? Is there not a purpose in life? And I had questions and no answers. And I asked my mom and dad, why did this happen? I asked doctors, why did this happen? And they, they don't know. There are some things in life that are out of your control that you can't change and you've got to live with. The choice that we have, though, is either to give up or keep on going. I want to ask you, what are you going to believe? Are you going to believe in yourself? Are you going to believe everybody else's judgment on you? Are you going to believe people when they say that you're a failure or no one really likes you, no one really cares about you? And it's not really to say that, hey, you need someone to come up and say, hey, really, I, I like you, I care about you. No, it's not that, but it's the fact that people put you down. People don't even look you in the eye. People ask you how you are, and you say fine, but you're not fine, and they'll, know, they'll never know that. I tell you, life is interesting. Life's a journey. See this phone here? Let's say that I want to go to the phone, right? And I start from over here. Now, to get to the phone... It's not like I'm going to start meditating and going hum, right, and float across the air, right? It's not, going to, it's not going to work. It's not like I'm going to go hum and woo, you know, it's not going to work. So I have to take one step at a time, one step at a time, one step at a time. You can only take one step at a time. I don't care how big your step is, it's only one step at a time. You can't do two steps in one. You understand? So it's like one step at a time and... You take steps in this direction, you take steps in that direction, sort of get lost along the way, and sometimes you fall down. Now, to illustrate my point, I'm going to jump off the table, do a back twist, and land on the floor. Okay? Is that cool? Are you ready? Oh, there's a clock there. Okay, can you move the clock for a second, please? Beautiful, beautiful. All right. You ready? So, uh, are you guys ready? Just let me know when you're ready. Are you ready? Okay, ready? One... Two, I'm joking, man. Are you serious? <laughs> Just put the clock back there. If I did that, I'll break my arm or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> How did I get from depressed to who I am today? Because I tell you, I was depressed. When I was age eight, I used to concentrate on the things I didn't have. I wish I had arms and legs, and I wish I could do this. But what can I do? You see, I have a choice, and that's what I want to talk about today, choices. I can either be angry for not having arms and legs or be thankful for my chicken drumstick. <laughs> and you see, I can still do a lot of things. At home, I can brush my teeth, comb my hair, get myself ready in the morning. And I'm traveling around the world. It, it's, it's amazing. But I had to ask myself a couple questions. And the first question was really, who am I? Who am I? 
I'm Nick Vujicic, but who is that? And it's funny how the friends around you sort of determine who you are. You change yourself. You come to school. And everybody swore around me at high school, so I started swearing. Why? Because it's the cool thing to do. Everybody swears. So I don't want to be left out. And I want to be accepted, so I started swearing. You go to a party, everybody's drinking, so you drink. Why? Why well, everybody else around me is doing a big deal. And then you try something new. And then you'll also go to school and people will put you down. And parents will tell you that you're a failure because you failed at a test. And you start believing the lies around you, saying that you're not good enough and no one's going to want you, and you'll never ever do anything good in your life, and you'll never ever you know, achieve, the, achieve the dreams and goals that you wish you had done, or wish that you could do. And these steps take you closer. That voice saying, you're not good enough, you're not good enough, you're not good enough, and all you need is one more step to fall. See, so you have a choice to know which step you're going to take today. Let me ask you, do you know who you are? You want to know who I think you are? You care about what your friends think who you are. You, know, you care about their opinion. You want to know who I am? You want to know what I think you are? I'll tell you right now. I don't care how you look. Honestly, if you're 400 kilos, I'm going to come up to you and give you a hug and say that I love you. I don't care if you're fat, short, tall, thin. What? I don't care, man. I really don't care how you look. I don't care what you're good at. I don't care what you're not good at. I don't care if you like rock and roll music or not. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if you're a good mathematician or a good athletic or not good at anything that you think. But I'm going to come and tell you that you're awesome just the way you are. I know so many teenagers who look themselves in the mirror and wish that they had a different body. Girls, you're beautiful just the way you are. You're gorgeous. You're gorgeous. Just, I love you just the way you are. And you boys, you're the man. <laughs> because it's not how you look. When you see me for the first time, many of you felt sorry for me. Do you feel sorry for me anymore? No. Why? Because you know who I am. But don't you remember I have no arms and no legs? Would you want to be my friend? Of course you would. Why? Because you like who I am. But I have no arms and no legs. And you're going to say, so what? So when you say, well, I have this or I don't have that, I'm going to go, so what? I don't care. You are worth more than diamonds. All the diamonds in the world, you are so precious. Every single one of your hearts, you can do something. Not just something that you can do, but you can live life. Life is not always good. Life is always not rosy. But life is worth living when you find purpose. Nick, I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know. My parents want me to do this. My teachers want me to do that. My friends think that I should do this, and I don't know what to do. And you're torn, man. You don't know what to do. You have to make important decisions, man. You don't know what to do. Who do you believe? See, all things come together for the good. That's how it is in my life. You see, there's nothing good about having no arms and no legs, is there? No. If I, you know, click my fingers, metaphorically speaking, and your arms and legs disappeared, do you think you'd be happy with me? No, you'd come run after me and headbutt me, okay? Because there's nothing good about having no limbs. But I love my life. Do you want to know why? Because I've seen the purpose. Because I have no arms and no legs, you're all listening to what I have to say. This is maybe the most attentive you've been in any guest speaker. Because everybody else is boring and what would they know anyway? That's what you think. Don't worry, I was at school too. Like, what do you know? I don't care what many people have to say. They have no idea what I'm going through. What pain do they know? But you see me and you see what sort of pain I could go through and what I've gone through. And all of a sudden now, I'm seeing all of you and maybe for the first time, you're believing these words out of my mouth saying, I love you. And you don't even know me, but you actually believe that I do love you. You see, it's an unconditional love. 
You don't have to do anything for me to love you. I just love you. Why? I don't know. Because I just love you. Why? It's love. It's unconditional love. Not only is it about you and your life, but what about the people around you? You know, if, if you think that you have no purpose, Nick, I don't know what I want to do. You know, I wish I could do this, but I don't think this is going to happen in my life. Let me tell you this. So many people came up to me and said, Nick, I don't have a purpose. I don't know what to do in my life. Let me ask you one thing. If you went through your life full of pain, full of tears, and at the end of your life, you actually saved somebody's life. Is your life worth living? Is the pain worth someone's life? If you could actually save somebody? Can you imagine? If you actually saw somebody nearly get run over a car, you dive and get them out of the way of the car. For instance, an example, would that be worth living? You save somebody's life. I don't know. What about this? Let's say that you have a problem in your life and you want to give up now. Imagine if someone 10 years older who's gone through the exact same thing that you have actually got through it and came to you and said, you know what? I know how it feels. I've been there. I've been going through what you're going through now, but I'm still here. Would that not encourage you? Could that possibly save your life? Yes. Is that not a purpose worth living for? And that's why I believe in you because that is the greatest purpose. It's to love. Honest. It's to, it sounds corny. Whatever you want to say, I don't care. I love people because there is freedom and power in loving people. You have a choice every day you come to school to either tease somebody, gossip about somebody, or you can go up to them and encourage them. You can go up to somebody and say, hey, you're looking good today. When you ask them, how are you doing? And they say, okay, and you know they're not okay. You can say, no, really, how are you doing? You could save somebody's life. Oh, really, Nick? No, I don't think so. Check this out. I was six years old, grade one. Twelve people teased me. I counted them all on my fingers. <laughs> Twelve people teased me. And at the end of the day, 10 to 3, in the afternoon, I said, I can't do this. If one more person teases me today, that's it. I'm going to give up. And I'm driving in my wheelchair, my BMW 7 Series, to my, to my parents, right? And there is this one girl who yells out, hey, Nick! And I'm thinking, great, here it is. She comes to me and she says, Nick, I just want you to know that you're looking good today. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> The power of encouragement. You can save a person's life. Because I tell you, I was walking, man, this way. You're not good enough. People telling me, no one loves you. you don't, there's nothing good in your life. You can't do this. You can't do that. No one's going to want to marry you and all these sort of things and get to the edge. And all I needed was that one more person to tell me that I wasn't good enough. And I'll be down there. Do you know that you could be that one person for somebody else to push them over? You don't know how many people have eating disorders in this school. You don't know how many people want to hurt themselves in this school. They hide it. You don't know how many people hate their life. And you're one of the reasons why. Can you imagine that? Serious. Why? Just because you want to have fun. Grow up. Grow up. I dare this school not to tease another person for the rest of the day. I dare you. I dare you. Do you think it's possible? People will say, well, I won't do it, but everybody else will. Be the change you want to see. And you be that person and turn them around. This school should have every person having a friend. You see somebody having no friends, why don't you go up to that person and be their friend? Because you're scared of what people think of you. Let's do it. Let's wake up. Embrace it, man. Let's live.
I love my life. Nothing stopped me. Am, am I happy all the time? No, no, I'm not happy all the time. I'm not happy. I cry sometimes. Not because of no arms, no legs. This is easy. I'm talking about the things in life that I, I other things, man. I'm like stressed about and anxious about it. The, the person that I love, they're hurting and I can't do anything about that. that that's what kills me. We're all going through something. We're all trying to find that something, that happiness. You can find it. Find what you love to do. I love loving people, man. I love encouraging people. That's the greatest thing. The greatest business in the world, saving people's lives. Love it. But we're not all going to be speakers. We're not all going to be doing something. That'd be crazy. What do you want to do in your life? Is there something more to your life? Because I found something more to my life and I believe it's God and you're on your own journey. It's fine. I love you guys so much. I love you very much. Choices are yours.